It's better to be a, a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Yes. And every day I want to train myself to be prepared for a war, whatever that war is, whether that's external or internal. And I truly believe for me, my body is very physical, I need to move. And it gives me so much confidence, it gives me joy, it gives me happiness to be able to train, whether it be in boxing or lifting or any type of physical activity, where I feel like I am strong and I can take care of myself if I need to. I hope I never have to use that strength to defend myself. I hope I never do. But to just know, if someone wanted to do something, I would be able to take care of myself. That gives me inner peace. That eliminates anxiety. That makes me be able to walk in a room and see the room and scan the room and say, I got this. I don't need to feel afraid for myself. And um, the discipline of doing something painful every day, I think is one of the most important disciplines that any human being can have. Whatever that pain looks like for you, I believe we must lean into pain every day. Otherwise, pain, pain is gonna lean into us. But if we're leaning into it first, when, when stuff happens, it's like, yeah, I got this, because I do this every day. I'm not saying we should be in pain 80% of our day, but maybe an hour, 30 minutes, you should do something that makes you want to puke, or makes you want to stop, or makes you want to relax. Because then when stuff really happens, you'll be relaxed. And that's key for me. Like lean into the pain and recover at the same time. So I'm learning lessons every time I'm doing this. Whether I'm lifting with my lifting coach or, or boxing with him, it's, I just feel so at peace afterwards. I'm like, man, I know I can do this. And every day I push myself a little bit harder. It's like, you just feel like you can conquer anything. I don't want to be tested in the real world. I'm like, someone brings a knife to me, I'm going to run away. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I don't want to be, I hope I don't have to. But it's just the confidence of the daily practice. So, um, but I mean, the, the working out alone is not enough. I have been doing years of the inner work, the inner workout, and it's all about the inner game, as you know. The meditation practices, the visualization, the therapies, the workshops, the just whatever it is, listening to shows like yours, reading books, whatever it is, constantly trying to improve my mind and heal the soul. And I think by integrating the daily pain of the physical body and by integrating constant healing, and it's like things happen every day to us where we can be triggered. So we're gonna be constantly like letting it go and forgiving and moving beyond it. And the more I do that, the better I feel. And when I, when I stop those practices, that's when I feel like something's off in my life. It's the emotional work too. It's like, have you healed the past? Have you forgiven? Are you still holding on to resentment? If so, something is gonna be off in your life. It's the mental growth, like improving the mindset on a daily basis, improving the physical body, and then are you releasing the emotions? Are you processing? Are you integrating the lessons you've learned from the previous breakup into this relationship? Or are you carrying things from the past? And it's kind of that, the, those three things really connecting. And then if you have a spiritual you know, practice as well, I think really integrating that is something important. But, and part of my life was all physical. And I got physical results and was suffering emotionally. Then I started to heal the emotional side and feel peace and sleep at night for the first time, which I was like, oh my God, I can sleep. It's because I let go of something that I was holding on to emotionally. Then I was like, okay, I don't feel like I'm that smart, so let me learn, let me improve my mindset, let me get new skills. Now I feel more confident. I'm increasing the mental capacity. And uh, I just feel so much better every day knowing that I've done that work. And it's not enough to do the work in the past, it's a continual process in the present that makes me feel at peace every day. Every experience and every breakdown and mistake I've made is teaching me something to improve myself, to prepare myself for something greater. You gotta do hard things every day to earn your respect. Mm -hmm. I can't just show up on a couch and do nothing and be like happy with myself. I gotta contribute to society in some way. I gotta contribute to family, friends. That's what makes it meaningful. And um, you're never inspired by the person who said, oh, he sat on his couch all day and did nothing. But he lived a comfortable life, so we should respect that. Mm. For me, okay, it's respectable. You're alive, you existed, but what did you contribute? How did you multiply your talents to serve something, something greater than you or someone greater than you or something? And so for me, I, don't want, I want to be proud of myself. I want to be proud of the things I say and following through on those things and being integral with myself. 
I want to be proud of the work that I create, the creativity I express, how I treat and take care of my body, how I take care and treat other people. I want to be proud of those things at the end of the day. And I'm like, what could I do? How many more people could I help by having that skill? Mm. One, I'll be proud of myself, but also be able to contribute to more people. And I'll be able to understand more people. And I feel like, man, I'll be so proud of myself to just be able to have a conversation with someone, understand them, and then be able to help them in some way. That would be worth it for me. Like the years of practice and work and effort just to know I was able to develop a skill that was hard, that took me 20 years to get started and finally commit. Mm. I could die like a happy person knowing if I did that with every part of my life. What is your definition of greatness? Discovering your unique talents and gifts to pursue your dreams. And in that pursuit, making the maximum impact on the people around you. That's greatness. The ability to have a clear vision and see the steps and the ability to have a beginner's mind and find and surround myself by great coaches and be unapologetic in asking for feedback. Feedback has been a huge indicator of my success. I will ask friends, hey, what do you think is like the one thing that you notice from afar Do you think I could be doing better? What's the thing you think like, oh, if, if I didn't do that, like everything would improve. What's the thing where I'm lacking? What's the thing? I ask everyone, give me feedback. I wasn't good at feedback until eight years ago because I was living with a wound of abuse, of triggers, of anger, of frustration. And I went through a workshop that literally for days had us, I kid you not, hours and hours and days had us sit there and take feedback from everyone in the room about how we showed up in that workshop. It was just like as exercises. Whether it was true or not, you just had to sit there and look strangers in the eye where they tell you, you look this, you're this, you're this, and just be like, huh, and notice how it makes you feel. And literally this exercise over and over for days got me to realize that just because someone's giving you feedback doesn't mean it's true about you. So don't take it personally and see where is the truth in there and how can you apply it. I was unable to take feedback until eight years ago. Unable. I couldn't do it. I was like, don't tell me what to do. Don't try to change me. <laughs> Screw you. I'm better than you at this. You don't know what you're talking about. It was like a very active, let me fight. You're trying to tell me where I'm wrong? Well, here's where you're wrong. Here's where you suck. You need to improve this. It was very aggressive. And now I think it's everything's a practice. It's like, okay, at first I didn't like it. And now, oh. I got this one little piece of feedback and I started applying it and look how it improved my life. So I can see the meaning of feedback and the value of it. And that has been a practice that I think is a skill now that I feel like it's a superpower. I'm not above anyone. Like I will take feedback from any human being. Give me a five-year-old kid, give me some feedback. You're observing something about me, I'll listen. Sports was the greatest teacher for me growing up because every day, I got to be in the arena. I got to practice something that I wanted to accomplish. Mm. I got to improve on a skill set, whether it be in basketball and it was a dribbling uh, skill that I wanted to learn or a shooting drill or rebounding. There was always a skill that I needed to improve upon. Football, like in sports, you never are, you've never mastered really anything. You can be great at something, but there's always another level in sports to be better. Even the best basketball players, they miss a lot of their shots. It's like you can always improve somewhere, some skill set. So for me, the application of seeing my own goals and seeing my own dreams and then taking daily actions to improve upon those and make those goals come to reality. It was the full circle moments that I created consistently. Here's the dream, 15 years later it happened. Seven years later it happened. Five years, 20 years. It was like seeing it come to fruition was a big, uh, gave me the confidence. Those results gave me the confidence and then when I started coaching other people, I don't know, seven, eight years ago in kind of the business world and the online marketing world or just like their life goals, I just started seeing it and be like, okay, yeah, I see myself in you. I see this problems that I had, what was struggling for me. And if you just eliminate this limiting belief, if you take this action, if you do this thing, you should be there in six months, not six years. And then they would do it. And I was just like, awesome. So. Then show, seeing those results in other people, I was like, okay, maybe this is a skill I have for others, not just accomplishing goals myself.